Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate the limit if it exists. We have the limit as x approaches 5 of x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x minus 5. So what we want to do is be, to be able to plug in 5 into our fraction. However, we can't do that directly because if we did that, then we would have 5 minus 5 in the denominator, which is 0, and you can't divide by 0. So what we do is we factor the numerator in hopes that we can simplify it with the denominator and eliminate this term. So on the um, numerator, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6, so we're factoring a trinomial. We need two numbers that multiply to 6, add to negative 5, that's negative 2 and negative 3. And looking at this, we can see that there's nothing to cancel. So there's no way for us to just plug in 5 directly into this function and see what happens. So instead, what we have to do is look at the one-sided limits and see the values that they converge to. So if we have the limit as x approaches 5 from the left of x squared plus, sorry, x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x minus 5. What we can do is plug in 5 directly into the numerator, right? If we don't have any weird domain restrictions or values that are close to um, 0, then you can plug in um, your value. So we have 5 squared minus 5 times 5 plus 6. This is over um, the limit as x approaches 5 from the left of x minus 5. So the step we have to take here is to recognize what does it mean to go from 5 to 5 from the left and then subtract 5 from it. So first let's calculate this. This is 5 squared, which is 25. This is 5 squared, which is 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. So this is 0 plus 6, which is just 6. What's more interesting is on the bottom, we have approaching 5 from the left. What does that mean? That means we have numbers that are very, very slightly less than 5, but approaching 5. So if we have a, a number that's very, very slightly less than 5, and we subtract 5, then we're going to get a number that's very, very slightly less than 0. Right? If you take 4.99999 and you subtract 5, you're going to get negative 0 0.00001. This matters because a number, a, a constant divided by numbers approaching 0 is equal to infinity or negative infinity. And if this was approaching 1, it wouldn't matter. But if we are approaching 0, then it matters whether it's positive or negative, because this is a positive number divided by a negative number, which makes this negative infinity. If we take the limit as x approaches 5 from the right of x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x minus 5, again, we can just plug in 5 directly up top to get 6, right? This is all just the same. But on the bottom, we take 5 from the right minus 5. And since this is a number that's slightly larger than 5, subtracting 5, that means we're going to get a number that's slightly larger than 0. So numbers approaching 0 that are greater than 0. And here it's a constant divided by the positive numbers approaching 0, therefore it's a positive divided by a positive, and it's positive infinity. And we can say that since the limit from the right and the left do not equal each other, because negative infinity does not equal infinity, the limit dNe does not exist.